Ezra, Shelashi, 3 Ezra, 8. And after these things, when Artach Shashta, the king of the Persians, reigned, came Ezra, the son of Serayahu, the son of Azariahu, the son of Kilkiyahu, the son of Shalom, the son of Sedok, the son of Achtiv, the son of Amariahu, the son of Azariahu, the son of Meariah, the son of Zarachiah, rather Zarachiah, the son of Uzi, the son of Buki, the son of Ishua, rather Avishua, the son of Pinachach, the son of Eleazar, the son of Eharan, the chief priest. This Ezra went up from Babel as a scribe, being very ready in the Torah of Moshe that was given by the Elohim of Yashara'el. And the king did him honor, for he found grace in his sight in all his requests. There went up with him also certain of the children of Yashara'el, of the priest of the Leviim, of the holy singers, porters, and ministers of the temple, unto Yerushalayim, in the seventh month of the reign of Artach Shashta, in the fifth month. This was the king's seventh year, for they went from Babel in the first day of the first month, and came to Yerushalayim, according to the prosperous journey which Yahuwah gave them. For Ezra had very great skill, so that he omitted nothing of the Torah and commandments of Yahuwah, but taught all Yashadael the ordinances and judgments. Now the copy of the commission, which was written from Artach Shashta, the king, and came to Ezra, the priest and reader of the Torah of Yahuwah, is this that follows. King Artach Shasta, unto Ezra, the priest, and reader of the Torah of Yahuwah, sends greeting. Having determined to deal graciously, I have given order that such of the nation of the Yahudim and of the priests and Leviim being within our realm, as are willing and desirous, should go with you unto Yerushalayim. As many, therefore, as have a mind thereunto, let them depart with you, as it has seemed good both to me and my seven friends, the counselors, that they may look unto the affairs of Yahudah and Yerushalayim, agreeably to that which is in the Torah of Yahuwah and carry the gifts unto Yahuwah of Yashadael to Yerushalayim, which I and my friends have vowed, and all the gold and silver that in the country of Babel can be found to Yahuwah in Yerushalayim, with that also which is given of the, of the people for the temple of Yahuwah, Elohehem, at Yerushalayim, and that silver and gold may be collected for bullocks, rams, and lambs, and things thereunto appertaining, to the end that they may offer sacrifices unto Yahweh upon the altar of Yahweh Elohehem, which is in Yerushalayim. And whatsoever you and your brethren will do with the silver and gold, that do, according to the will of your Elohim, and the holy vessels of Yahweh, which are given you for the use of the temple of your Elohim, which is in Yerushalayim, you shall set before your Elohim in Yerushalayim. And whatsoever thing else you shall remember for the use of the temple of your Elohim, you shall give it out of the king's treasury. And I, King Artach Shashta, have also commanded the keepers of the treasures in Aram and Phoenicia, that whatsoever Ezra, the priest and the reader of the Torah of El Elyan, shall send for, they should give it him with speed, to the sum of a hundred talents of silver, likewise also of wheat, even to a hundred cores, 
and a hundred pieces of wine and other things in abundance. Let all things be performed after the Torah of Elohim, diligently unto El Elyan, that wrath come not upon the kingdom of the king and his sons. I command you also that ye require no tax nor any other imposition of any of the priests or levyim or holy singers or porters or ministers of the temple or of any that have doings in this temple and that no man have authority to impose anything upon them. And you, Ezra, according to the wisdom of Elohim, ordain judges and justices that they may judge in all Aram and Phoenicia, all those that know the Torah of your Elohim, and those that know it not, you shall teach. And whosoever shall transgress the Torah of your Elohim and of the king shall be punished diligently, whether it be by death, or other punishment, by penalty of money, or by imprisonment. Then said Ezra the scribe, Blessed be the only Yahweh Elohim of my fathers, who has put these things into the heart of the king, to glorify his house that is in Yerushalayim, and has honored me in the sight of the king, and his counselors, and all his friends and nobles. Therefore was I encouraged by the help of Yahweh Elohai and gathered together men of Yahshadael to go up with me. And these are the chief, according to their families and several dignities, that went up with me from Babel in the reign of King Artach Shashta, of the sons of Pinechach, Gersham, of the sons of Ithamar, Daniel, of the sons of David, Chatush, the son of Shechanyahu, of the sons of Peretz, Zakariahu, and with him were counted a hundred and fifty men, of the sons of Pehath Moab, Eliyahu Ainai, the son of Zerachiah, and with him two hundred men, of the sons of Zatu, Shechanyahu, the son of Yachiz Iel, and with him three hundred men of the sons of Adin, Eved, the son of Jonathan, and with him two hundred and fifty men. Of the sons of Elam, Yoshiyahu, son of Athaliyahu, and with him seventy men. Of the sons of Shephatiyahu, Zechariah, son of Mikael, and with him three score and ten men. Of the sons of Yoav, Ovedyahu, son of Yachaz Iel, and with him two hundred and twelve men. Of the sons of Bani, Shalomith, son of Yochifayah, rather Yosifiah, and with him a hundred and threescore men. Of the sons of Bevai, Zechariahu, son of Bevai and with him twenty and eight men. Of the sons of Asgad, Yahuchanan, son of Ha'achatan, rather, Ha'achatan, and with him a hundred and ten men. Of the sons of Adonacham, the last, and these are the names of them, Eliphelet, Ye'iel, and Shemayahu, and with them seventy men. Of the sons of Bigvai, Uthai, the son of Zabud, and with him seventy men. And these I gathered together to the river called Ahava, where we pitched our tents three days, and then I surveyed them. But when I had found there none of the priests and Levim, then sent I unto Eleazar and Ariel and Shemayahu, and El Nathan, and Shemayahu, and Yariv, and Nathan, Unathan, Zechariahu, and Meshalam, principal men and learned. And I bade them that they should go unto Edo the captain, who was in the place of the treasury. 
and commanded them that they should speak unto Ido and to his brethren and to the treasurers in that place to send us such men as might execute the priest's office in the house of Yahweh. And by the mighty hand of our Adonai, they brought unto us skillful men of the sons of Machili, rather Machli, the son of Levi, the son of Yah Shadael, Sher of Yah, and his sons and his brethren, who were eighteen, and Chasav Yahu and Bani, and Yasha Yahu, his brother, of the sons of Mari, rather Merari, and their sons were twenty men. And of the servants of the temple whom David had ordained, and the principal men for the service of the Leviim, to wit, the servants of the temple, two hundred and twenty, the catalogue of whose names were showed. And there I vowed a fast unto the young men before Adonai, to desire of him a prosperous journey, both for us and them that were with us, for our children and for the cattle. For I was ashamed to ask the king footmen and horsemen and conduct for safeguard against our adversaries. For we had said unto the king that the power of Yahuwah Eloheinu should be with them that seek him, to support them in all ways. And again we besought our Adonai as touching these things, and found him favorable unto us. Then I separated twelve of the chief of the priests, Sherav Yah and Chashav Yahu, and ten men of their brethren with them. And I weighed them the gold and the silver and the holy vessels of the house of our Adonai, which the king and his council and the princes and all Yashad El had given. And when I had weighed it, I delivered unto them six hundred and fifty talents of silver and silver vessels of a hundred talents and a hundred talents of gold and twenty golden vessels and twelve vessels of brass even of fine brass glittering like gold and i said unto them both ye are holy unto yahweh and the vessels are holy and the gold and the silver is a vow unto yahweh yahweh of our fathers watch ye and keep them till ye deliver them to the chief of the priests and Leviim, and to the principal men of the families of Yashadael in Yerushalayim, into the chambers of the house of our Elohim. So the priests and the Leviim, who had received the silver and the gold and the vessels, brought them unto Yerushalayim, into the temple of Yahweh. And from the river Ahava, we departed the twelfth day of the first month and came to Yerushalayim by the mighty hand of our Adonai, which was with us. And from the beginning of our journey, Yahuwah delivered us from every enemy. And so we came to Yerushalayim. And when we had been there three days, the gold and silver that was weighed was delivered in the house of our Adonai, on the fourth day unto Meramoth, the priest, the son of Uriyahu. And with him was Eleazar, the son of Pinachach, and with them were Yozavad, the son of Yahusha, and Noadiah, the son of Binu, the Le- rather, the son of Binui, Leviim, always delivered them by number and weight. And all the weight of them was written up the same hour. Moreover, they that were come out of the captivity offered sacrifice unto Yahweh Elohim of Yashar El, even twelve bullocks for all Yashar El, fourscore and sixteen rams, threescore and twelve lambs, Goats for a peace offering, twelve, all of them a sacrifice to Yahweh. And they delivered the king's commandments unto the king's stewards and to the governors of Silo Aram and Phoenicia 
and they honored the people in the temple of Elohim. Now, when these things were done, the rulers came unto me and said, The nation of Yashadael, the princes, the priests, and Leviim, have not put away from them the strange nations of the land, nor the pollutions of the other people, to wit, of the Kena'anim, Chitim, Perizim, Yevasim, and the Mo'avim, Mitzrim, and Edomim. For both they and their sons have married with their daughters, and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land. And from the beginning of this matter, the rulers and the great men have been partakers of this iniquity. And as soon as I heard these things, I rent my clothes and the holy garment and pulled off the hair from off my head and beard and sat me down sad and very heavy. So all they that were then moved at the word of Yahweh Elohim of Yashad El assembled unto me while I mourned for the iniquity. But I sat still, full of heaviness, until the evening sacrifice. Then rising up from the fast with my clothes and the holy garment rent, and my bowing, rather, and bowing my knees, and stretching forth my hands unto Yahweh, I said, O Yahweh, I am confounded and ashamed before your face. For our sins are multiplied above our heads, and our ignorances have reached up unto heaven. For ever since the time of our fathers, we have been and are in great sin, even unto this day. And for our sins and our fathers, we with our brethren and our kings and our priests were given up unto the kings of the earth, to the sword, and to captivity, and for a prey with shame unto this day. And now in some measure has mercy been showed unto us from you, O Yahweh, that there should be left us a root and a name in the place of your sanctuary and to discover unto us a light in the house of Yahweh Eloheinu, and to give us food in the time of our servitude. Yea, when we were in bondage, we were not forsaken of our Adonai, but he made us gracious before the kings of Persia, so that they gave us food. Yea, and honored the temple of our Adonai, and raised up the desolate Sion that they have given us a sure abiding in Yahuda and Yerushalayim. And now, O Yahuwah, what shall we say, having these things? For we have transgressed your commandments, which you gave by the hand of your servants, the prophets, saying that the land which ye enter into to possess as a heritage is a land polluted with the pollutions of the strangers of the land and they have filled it with their uncleanness therefore now shall ye not join your daughters unto their sons neither shall ye take their daughters unto your sons moreover ye shall never seek to have peace with them that ye may be strong and eat the good things of the land, and that ye may leave the inheritance of the land unto your children forevermore. And all that is befallen is done unto us for our wicked works and great sins. For you, O Yahweh, did make our sins light, and did give us, rather, and did give unto us such a root. But we have turned back again, to transgress your Torah, and to mingle our rather, and to mingle ourselves with the uncleanness of the nations of the land. Might not you be angry with us to destroy us, till you had left us neither root, seed, nor name? O Yahuwah of Yashadael, you are true, for we are left a root this day. Behold, now are we before you in our iniquities, 
for we cannot stand any longer by reason of these things before you. And as Ezra in his prayer made his confession, weeping and lying flat upon the ground before the temple, there gathered unto him from Yerushalayim a very great multitude of men and women and children, for there was great weeping among the multitude. Then Yochan Yahu, the son of Ye'el, one of the sons of Yashadael, called out and said, O Ezra, we have sinned against Yahweh Elohim. We have married strange women of the nations of the land, and now is all Yashadael aloft. Let us make an oath to Yahuwah that we will put away all our women which we have taken of the heathen with their children, like as you have decreed and as many as do obey the Torah of Yahuwah. Arise and put in execution, for to you does this matter appertain, and we will be with you. Do valiantly. So... Ezra arose and took an oath of the chief of the priests and Leviim of all Yashadael to do after these things, and so they swore.